Hi, it's Mary Brown Bates, and it is March 21st, and I am talking about COVID from the banks of Pawtuckaway. Um, this is the second, well, actually, this is the fourth time I've tried recording this video, but it's the second time I'm going to put it up on the internet. The first one I was told was too quiet. I didn't want to disturb the buffalo heads behind me. At this point, there are no ducks behind me to disturb. Ah, uh, this is me personally, my view, my views, not the views of my employers, and this is not personal, personal medical advice. If you want personal medical advice, you got to talk to your own doc. So you can hear the waves lapping behind me, and you can tell how windy it is. Um, it's kind of cold out today. Um, so two things I wanted to talk about today. The first is face masks. I learned yesterday that cloth face masks, um, as they are better than the nothing, um, that many of us will have, um, are being recommended now. Some hospital systems are even requesting people make them cloth face masks. Well, um, that might be a great project for homeschoolers. Um, certainly something one can do in isolation and it's something one can do to help the world. If you make cloth face masks, you could distribute them to your neighbors even. Um, you could leave them on their front porch and, you know, ring their doorbell and run away, I guess. <laughs> it's ding dong ditch, except now it's socially acceptable. Um, all right. So I'll, I've, um, I'll post a link to um, a video in the comments that shows how to make these things. Um, second thing I wanted to talk about is a number of people have asked me about mental health um, and asked for tips. Um, what I've decided is I'll probably give a tip every day. Um, here's my first one. And this is, this is a tip that I, people who know me in real life know that I, I really try very hard to practice this tip in real life, even during a time of um, non-COVID. And that tip is that there are things that are under my control and things that are not under my control. Um, and I try really hard to focus my energy on the things that are under my control. So what's under my control is essentially what I'm doing, my actions, and the contents of my own mind. Um, things that are not under my control is what I did yesterday. Um, and what other people think about me, or what other people think, period, what other people do. Um, those, those things are not under my control. So an, another example of something not under my control is um, how many positive um, COVID tests we had in New Hampshire um, today. Well, today is Saturday. I don't think the labs run on Saturday, but you, you get what I'm saying. Um, but I am in control of what I do, where I apply my energy, what I think. Um, and really kind of curating that and trying to stay away from coulda, shoulda, woulda, I think is very helpful for people. Um, it's very helpful for me. Um, and I'd encourage you um, to do it. Um, because there is plenty for us to do right now. And I think that's a much better use of our energy than, you know, thinking about what we could have done you know, a week ago. Um, so today I'm going to take actions that make the world a better place in a week. And I'd encourage you to do that too. All right. So thank you for listening to me. Um, it's a beautiful day, although it's cold. The sun is out, which is nice. Um, it's super windy here on Patakaway. And there are no birds to show you, although what is that over there? Okay, that's a rock. That's the sport at our house. We look at things on the lake and say, wait, 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 is that a bird? <laughs> All right. I guess tip number two for mental health would be do what you can to be around nature. All right. Stay safe out there. Thank you.